Hi, this is Mike. Today I'd like to show you some cool new ways to use the Intel RealSense 3D camera technology with gaming. Let's go take a look. So first I scan my head using this HP Spectre X2 tablet with the uh, RealSense R200 camera. The ITC software that I use to do the scan creates 3D models uh, in standard industry formats that can be 3D printed, and shared with other applications. With the 3D model of my head that I created with the uh, RealSense R200 camera, I've uploaded that model to a cloud service called Uranium that lets me get my head in the game. And uh, in this case, I'm able to create mods for popular titles. This is uh, me as a FIFA 15 player. I can also uh, be a character in Grand Theft Auto 5, Arma 3, there's a uh, Skyrim warrior, and uh, let's go ahead and take this guy and see how he does in the game. Okay, so here I am in Skyrim with the modded character enabled by uh, the Uranium solution. Uh, so I'm playing as myself, it supports both male and female characters, and uh, from a variety of different the classes inside the game. You also see in the lower right corner of the screen my head carved out. I'm using the XSplit Gamecaster software which is also real sense enabled so it's depth enabled um, background suppression. Uh, it's a green screen without a green screen. See if I come out of the field of view I disappear when I come back in it's carving out the, the, the room back behind me um, and uh, this is a very popular capability on Twitch and for YouTube content creators, not just for gaming, but for creating content um, where you want to have the talking head kind of announcing and calling out the things that, um, uh, that are happening on the screen as they're happening. Okay, so here I am standing over the giant that I just killed. Killed this one too. And that's uh, that's how I get my head in the game. Alright, so here's another great new usage with the Real Sense technology in gaming. Uh, when I was showing you Skyrim, I was using XSplit and then it had one face on the screen overlaid announcing what was happening on the screen, which also happened to have my head in the game. Uh, in this case, with uh, Hearthstone or other online multiplayer games, I can have multiple chat heads. I can position them wherever it makes the most sense, wherever there's available real estate, I can make them larger or smaller. Um, and this is a type of game and this type of experience where uh, there's smack talk between the players, um, there's nonverbal communication that enhances... Loser! Yeah, <laughs> thanks for that. And uh, the, the, the screen overlay enhances the game rather than takes than detracts from it while making the most use of the real estate. Once again, using the depth enabled real sense camera, I get the green screen effect without a green screen. Okay, so let's review what we covered here today using the Intel real sense technology for uh, more serious gaming usages. Um, to start, I use the ITSI's 3D scanner software with an HP Spectre X2 tablet and a RealSense R200 rear-facing camera built right in to create a 3D model of my head. Um, then uh, I, uh, that, that 3D model comes out in an industry standard uh, .obj file format. I can send it to a 3D printer. I can manipulate it with 3D editing software. In this case, I fed it into the Uranium cloud service which created a mod for Skyrim using the, the 3D model of my head. Uh, Uranium has some great titles in there now and a lot of uh, great new titles in the pipeline, so, so keep an eye on that space. A lot of exciting stuff there. Then I played Skyrim using that mod created by Uranium, and while doing so, I also uh, was running the XSplit Gamecaster software with the RealSense F200 a front facing camera on my notebook and I was able to superimpose my commentator head on the gameplay screen without taking up a bunch of the space without showing what's behind me 
um, and which is great for Twitch streamers. It's it's great for uh, content creation. A lot of creative uses for for YouTube content creators and and and, and others. Um, then I also showed how to personify uh, floating chat heads could enhance a multiplayer gaming experience like Hearthstone or online poker. There's a bunch of other great applications and usages with RealSense, including gesture control and facial substitution and avatars, real-time avatars. But today I just wanted to focus on the um, the serious, the more serious gaming usages. So to uh, to wrap up, for people paying close attention, uh, I just want to call out that I shared all of this with first generation technology on systems that aren't necessarily optimized for the full quality gaming experience. Uh, the good news is that excellent options for serious gamers become available shortly. Um, the next generation Intel RealSense SR300 camera uh, improves the quality of the image uh, it's captured and the quality of the depth enabled background suppression that does the the, the carve out the chat heads um, and 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 both creative and razor have announced USB peripherals that are based on the Intel SR300 reference and they'll be available to purchase in April so you can buy a camera like this and attach it to your high-powered gaming rig. You're investing in the best CPU, GPU, SSDs. Time to also um, upgrade your webcam. It also has uh, stereo microphones, so you get the uh, integration with um, Cortana, and also supports Windows Hello for facial recognition, uh, for facial login with Windows 10. So this is your killer camera for your gaming rig. Um, also, like to call out that the new Acer V Nitro Black Edition is the first gaming notebook hitting the market to integrate the Intel RealSense SR300 camera, and that will be available shortly. If you are coming to PAX South or PAX East, swing by the Intel booth and check all this out for yourself. Play with it. Um, we'll be doing face scans. Uh, head scans, so you'll have the .obj files that you can import into Uranium and 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 play uh, play your own mods, create and play your own mods. Um, I'm definitely going to have a lot of fun with this while I wait for my virtual reality headsets to arrive. Um, feel free to uh, drop any questions into the comment section below. Um, I hope you enjoyed learning about these new Intel RealSense usages for gaming, and hope you think it's as cool as I do. And thanks for watching.